the ribbon. Let's take a look at how AutoCAD organizes its various functions. This area here is called the ribbon. It is broken down into tabs for home, insert, annotate, layout, and so forth. Below that are panels. Each panel has functions inside of it. Let's go ahead and select home. Some panels have a lot of functions. So they have more fly down menus. If you select that, the panel expands and you see more functions that are available to you. If you'd like to keep this open, you can select the pin here. And as you move away, the panel will stay open. Let's go ahead and close that. Coming to the corner, if you feel like the ribbon is taking up too much space, you can select this icon here and this allows you to minimize the panel buttons. Let's pull down the menu and select minimize to tabs. And now the ribbon minimizes only to the tabs that are shown here. Again, we can select home and you still have all the functions within the ribbon. Let's select minimize to panel titles. And now let's look at minimize to panel buttons. These are various ways for you to utilize the ribbon. For now, I'll select cycle through all. And every time you push the button, it will cycle through each of the settings. For now, I will keep it at the default. If you would like, you can right click and you can undock the ribbon. This brings up more of a palette kind of feel, but all the functions are still there within the panel. If you'd like, you can right click and you can select anchor left. And now the ribbon is on the left. If you want to get into the functions, hover over the panel and the ribbon appears again. Anytime you want, you can drag the panel back off. You can move the panel to the right, or you can dock it on the top. Let's go ahead and drag it to the top and release. AutoCAD has many ways to display the ribbon. Find the way that suits you best.